And another probably semantic thing I should correct is like with slash tags, um, slash tags is not a service, it's a protocol. And so it's an open protocol. Anybody can use it and apply it however they want to. Um, and even that, even calling it a protocol is a bit of a, uh, you know, it's just for convenience because it's almost more a method. It's a way of using keys you know, to do a lot of different use cases, basically. And so once we have built out the use cases for slash tags that include like the ability to establish like private networks based on your web of trust data, um, then I would be more comfortable just saying it's a web of trust. But like there are a lot of other use cases, particularly the ones that we've released so far that don't even involve, you know, a web per se. And so it, it's more like a method of using keys for authentication. Um, and what's special about slash tags is there are other uh, tools that people use for using keys for authentication. Um, LNURL auth is an example. Um, you, you can find that, that that is, you know, quote unquote, based on lightning, but it also doesn't require lightning as a, as a technology either. Um, and so what we're trying to do is like make it so not only do you have keys, but you also have this kind of formalized way of attaching metadata to keys. And so basically anytime you communicate using slash tags, you're also communicating a schema. And that schema is basically like data about how you form data about keys. <laughs> and so it's just basically, it's like a structure for assigning metadata. And so basically you can think of it as like one schema could be like movie categorization and it could include like a, a map of all the different like fields essentially of like all the different things of metadata you would assign to a movie, like title, you know, director, act, all the actors, you know, the year it was released, all of these different stats. And so if you use this schema and you attached a key to say frozen two, you could like attach all of the metadata about frozen two to that key and assign that uh, that file to that key. And you could also start assigning like ratings to that key. So you could say, okay, let me use the, the, the movie categorization schema with the movie rating schema, and I'm going to apply ratings to these movies. And you could do this in a way that is like in mutual networks. So basically the, the data becomes portable and it's not part of a walled garden. Like it doesn't get locked into rottentomatoes.com. It gets locked into the Rotten Tomatoes schema and anybody can use that schema at any website, however they want to. And so it basically is a way of making decentralized, you know, networks and decentralized applications um, that are modular and interoperable. So you don't have to like be locked in. So if you get kicked off Twitter, your Twitter feed could be something that you own and that you can, you know, basically connect to any website. And so you, you getting kicked off Twitter just means that your stuff won't appear at their, their domain name, but it doesn't mean that your followers won't be able to find you somewhere else. Okay.